Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought we would do something a little bit different that I've never really done, but I personally really enjoy watching these types of videos. Little backstory, I haven't actually been on the Louis Vuitton website for quite a while, like to just browse, like I used to do that. And then, I don't know, they just didn't really come out with anything that really excited me. And then they had that whole like jungle collection thing that I was just like, mm, I don't even. I don't even have any words for that. I think it was like the LV Crafty collection. And anyways, I literally just went on Louis Vuitton just to kind of see what else they have. And then I actually started noticing a lot of like bags that I've never seen before. So if you guys constantly check out Louis Vuitton, then you probably already know what's on the website. But I haven't checked out like the full website for probably about like two plus months. So there's a lot of stuff that I haven't seen before. So I thought we can kind of like look at it together and then just kind of like talk about like things that we like, things that we don't like. So yeah, if you guys enjoy these types of videos please leave me a comment down below just so i know for like feedback but yeah so we're just gonna give this go kind of test the waters i thought i would kind of like delve more into like other parts of the luxury community so yeah so we're just gonna give it a go let's start over oh, on the website so i'm gonna go to women and then we're gonna go to handbags and we're gonna go to all handbags so i haven't really been on the website for a while so oh wow they have a pm finally they have the on the go pm Okay, see, I've been waiting for them to come out with the PM size, but I want them to have the PM size in the, um, just the normal, like, reverse canvas one. So, I don't think that they have it yet. They only have the PM, I think, in, like, these two colors. I mean, between these two, I think for sure the black and the cream, I think, is cuter. Like, just seeing it on the model, like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's actually really, really cute. And then they have the PM in, like, this pink color. I mean, this is cute. It's cute i'm just like not really a magenta person um ooh, i love this color combo okay see between see like with the taupe with the cream like monogram i think it's super cute i definitely like this color combination more than this one i feel like the shade of taupe here is slightly more cool toned as you can see whereas this is like a true taupe taupe right here and then these ones are just like the solid colors, which I think would be really cute for like a businesswoman. This is kind of like the Dior book tote, but like if you, you're not into like that super like big like oblique print, I, but you still want a really like nice book tote, I think this would be perfect for people that are working on the go. But yeah, I'm really happy that they came out with a smaller one. See, that's why when the on the go MM got released, I was like, I know that they're going to come out with a smaller one. I just need to be patient. So mm, need to see that in person. All right, so next we have the vanity PMs. So the vanity cases have been very popular recently, like Chanel has it, like Dior has it. Um, again, I think I'm just not a fan of this cream with like the cool toned gray on the inside, but the full color of it, I think, aesthetically, I think this looks really cute. I just personally won't buy a vanity case bag. It's just, it looks like, if I just look at it, I think it's really cute, but to actually use it day to day, I just, I feel like I would get so irritated imagining like being at the grocery store and you have to like be like, hold on and you have to like put it because like who wants to actually set anything on a dirty like counter anymore, you know? I like that there's pockets on the inside and like how it has the microfiber lining on the inside. That's really cute too, but yeah, but I think the look is really cute. I'm just not really a vanity case person. Like if I were to get a vanity case, I would just keep it in my room you know, or my bathroom or something. All right, so the Montagna BB, um, I mean, it looks cute on the model, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, same with this one. Let's see the other colors. See this shape, I feel like it just, oh, especially when it's being worn, I feel like it reminds me of the Burberry banner bag, which I already have. And yeah, like it even has like the inside of it. So, I mean, I think it's cute, but yeah, this really looks like the Burberry Banner Bag. The Burberry Banner Bag came out when I was still in college. Okay, so the Pouchet Matisse, I've talked about this before, like, this is just not a bag that I would ever buy. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> um, oh, so the Double Zip Pouchet, let's see. Let's see how big this is. Oh, okay, 20 centimeters across. Okay, so this looks actually pretty big then if it's 20 centimeters across. I mean, I feel like this would be cuter if it was all monogram. I mean, again, like some people don't like the brown monogram. I would potentially want this if it was in a different color combo. I'm just not, again, like a fan of this cream and this like cool toned gray. Oh, and then this, huh? This is, so this is part of the new collection. I'm just personally not a fan of it. 
the design kind of creeps me out you know like when you see people go through like therapy sessions and they ask you to like what's this and it's like a butter oh the ink blots right if a psychiatrist was like what does this look like and i'm just like huh it looks like i like louis vuitton but it, like i'm going insane <laughs> oh wow so they have a never full in the epi leather now that's actually really really cute Ooh, this navy epi leather is beautiful so is this taupe color oh and it looks like it has the microfiber lining let's see yeah so it has the yeah the microfiber lining on the inside and then i like actually how the trim is red that's actually really really cute and of course they don't show the price i'm pretty sure they don't show the price because anything that's epi leather is more expensive so okay sorry for that quick interruption so my battery died so i forgot where we were okay i just refreshed the page and now things are kind of out of order but we're just gonna stick through it so i'm sorry if it gets a little confusing so now we have the pochette grinnell mm, i i mean i understand like what it, it like it kind of looks like a clutch like a crossbody clutch but mm, i don't know i'm not a big fan of this I remember somebody was saying i forgot who i was watching oh sophie on youtube oh my gosh i love her videos like so so much she's one of like my favorite like luxury youtubers and she was saying how louis vuitton recently hasn't been exciting her because there's nothing really that is like signature lv and right now i just feel like they're making too many types of bags which is kind of making it like lose its appeal and i feel like this is kind of one of those things it just when i look at this bag okay in black it actually looks kind of cool in the white i don't know but in black it does look very cool especially with her whole outfit like very like businesswoman-esque like in the fashion industry like if you worked for vogue or something i could see this being an entire look however this new alma bb is so stunning like do you guys see this strap let's look at the other colors oh wow like the orange and the blue and the pastel blue oh wow that's so cute orange also really cute yellow oh for sure this like burnt orange like brown color i would actually think of buying it if i didn't already have bags already on my list but i actually thought i was kind of done with louis vuitton especially in alma bb like i didn't think i would ever want another one but in alma bb in the epi leather like that's actually really cute especially with the silver hardware as opposed to my monogram alma bb has the gold this is actually a contender oh wow and they actually put the prices now okay see before when i was on the website yesterday nothing with the epi leather had prices so i think they literally just added prices within like 30 minutes of me filming this video so 2100 that's actually not bad considering it comes with the strap and well let me just triple check that it comes with the strap imagine like it's just a bag on its own let's see yeah so it comes with a jacquard strap so 2100 you know i think that's worth it oh wow see look they added all the prices for the on the go totes so that's actually really really nice okay cool so now we have prices wow 3200 for a pm i mean i get it because they're using leather so i get it okay so let's just scroll down oh this is great that they added the prices now because when i was looking at it yesterday they didn't have the prices Alrighty, let's go down okay so the trunk clutch it basically looks like the petite mal i think that's what it's called i need to triple check but do you see how it kind of has these like birds on the side i don't know about you guys but when i was in elementary school and when we would draw like birds we would just do that like right this literally that's what it looks like to me <laughs> let me just click it just because it looks kind of more fatter or more fat i'm sorry my english sucks okay so yeah so you can see how it could technically fit more there's basically two compartments right over here so it's kind of like a more flexible version than the trunk mal which is basically like a structured little box but the trunk mal is pretty expensive i mean this is actually pretty expensive too let's look at it again but they do have a lot of different colors i mean for the price point i think this is overpriced i wouldn't yeah I don't know and the birds in the front is just weird like if i if i really wanted this like rectangular shape i would just get the petite mal oh and they have a sack plat in the epi leather now <gasps> this blue okay this pink and black i honestly wish this was all pink then i think it'd be cute but the all black one oh wow and then the all blue one let's just go back to that really quick wow that's actually really really cute okay but the black one 
and the price point is actually not bad 1500 so it's only about 200 dollars more to make it epi leather you know i think that's worth it i think that's worth it this three thirty six hundred dollar clutch i don't think it's worth it but okay this is also a contender wow very cute okay i'm gonna make a little mental note of that okay so the twists so again like if you've seen my previous videos you guys know how i feel about twists so i think twists look nice um it's not really like my style i think it's just a little like too i don't want to say edgy but i don't know like too contemporary i guess i mean this strap on this is really really cute like the peach and then i like that it's like reversible like there's two sides you have the monogram side and then you have this like peach and it says louis vuitton i think that's really cute and then let's just click on it to see more details with the strap yeah i love that it has like the clover flower on it oh wow do you see right here too so you have two different ones on both sides i think that's really really cute um i still probably would not buy the twist for myself but i'm really enjoying that they're getting more creative with the straps so that's actually really cute because i really like the dior straps but dior straps are like like borderlining like a thousand dollars for a strap i don't i don't know if i can do that so i initially already didn't really like this twist but this thick handle and then huh like i like the actual color of the bag the peach like the light pastel but what is with this on the side huh do you ever guys like look at a bag and it kind of makes you uncomfortable or just like print like you can look at certain types of print and they make you feel uncomfortable that made me feel uncomfortable see the twist from before like it has like this thin strap or just has the chain detailing right like very minimal whereas this one with the thick strap and on top of that you have those like little like i don't know like sewn in type moccasin type thing on the edge mm, not a fan um so these are just like the regular twists i don't know if they just added like more colors or not let's see let's see i mean i actually like the twist with the top handle i think the top handle looks nice like this thin top handle looks really cute and then 4100 i mean i understand like the twist is new the strap is probably alone like six to eight hundred dollars and it's with epi leather so i understand why it's 4100 it's expensive but mm, i get it like this one too in the taupe that's actually really really cute so the lock me bags i'm not a fan yeah i just i don't like it like let's just go with this monogram one i don't know it looks just kind of like cheap and it doesn't look real to me like this looks like a fake knockoff you know how like there's knockoffs that look like real bags but then there's knockoffs that look like knockoffs this looks like a knockoff like i don't like that it's black with the gold trim if this was just all gold i would like it more but i still don't really like it let's just see how the inside is um okay see like this pocket it looks very very similar to the what bag is it i think it's the celine focal bag i'm just talking about the inside where it has the pocket on the smaller pocket on the outside and then the bigger pocket on the inside i don't know this bag just in terms of design looks like something that you would find in like forever 21 in their like bag section um okay see this one between these two i do like this one more i still would rather get something else from louis vuitton but this one because it has like more of like the pointedness i don't know when you just look at it versus each other this one just looks more like elegant it looks more high-end like i can see you being like a businesswoman and like wearing boots with this bag okay so the petite mouse souple i'm not gonna lie i feel like it looks like a puffy little briefcase i mean a cute puffy little briefcase i like the peach and i really really actually like the black with it and then you can kind of see that the chain is removable let's just triple check this um yeah so the chain is removable which actually i really like about that because you see how it has this like gold chain so it means you can take out this big strap and you can just have this little chain it could just be like a little shoulder bag which i think is really cute price point wise i think it's reasonable for what it is because the normal petite mal is pretty expensive i think the petite mal is like 4200 or more because it's so structured i think but i mean this is really cute see this is more interesting to me than the multi pouche accessoire just because it's different and yeah i like that it comes with like two different chains that's actually really cute um i don't know if i would buy it but i think it's really cute i think it's really cute like if that if i saw a girl have it i'd be like wow your bag's really cute <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go back to the almas okay so the price point of the strap if you look at it so with the strap 2100 without the straps i'm just like lowering it 1700 so it's about like four 
$450 price difference, which actually isn't that bad for a jacquard strap. Again, like I said, like straps from other brands are usually more expensive. So $400 for a strap I think is reasonable for like a designer strap. I love like, wow, like the Alma and the Epi leather. Like if you haven't gotten an Alma BB yet, I would highly recommend checking it out in store and seeing how the Epi leather looks because I love the Epi leather with the silver hardware. That actually looks really, really cute. I think next time I go into Louis Vuitton, I definitely want to try it on. That's really, really cute. Like. I surprisingly love that okay let's look at more okay so the twist with the handle mm, i just think it looks awkward so this is like the normal twist shape right over here and then this just looks kind of awkward if i'm honest see like this is fine like i like the strap on here but this top handle is a little too thick i just think it looks weird um i do like this black actually it's very very elegant i love the chain detailing right over here i thought i think this whole vibe is really cute Again, I just personally won't buy a twist bag, but I think it's cute if you guys are interested. The LV Point 9, um, I don't know, I just feel like it looks kind of boring. I mean, this color is really cute, but if we're going for this color, I would rather get like a Bottega Veneta bag in like this color because it kind of still has like that shiny leather texture. I don't know about you guys, like when I look at a bag, I immediately always compare it with another bag to see like what it looks like or similar to but that's just me so again I think I'm just not a fan of the 1854 collection just if it was this like denim color the navy blue with just like the monogram and then the normal emblem all around it I think it actually be really really cute I think LV did come out with like a denim collection before I need a triple check but I'm pretty sure like back in the day like 10 15 years ago but this eight just kind of creeps me out just because yeah it just it's kind of creepy it just looks like a lot of circles and i don't like that Ooh, this navy color i think just i really like navy epi leather i think it looks so cute oh wow the neo i actually have not seen this huh okay so i mean this is the one that i have wow the price increase went up when i bought this bag retail price i think it was like 11 10 max 11.30 i believe but so it went up like 300 dollars since i bought mine i don't know how i feel see i don't like this like i don't like that it says the louis vuitton paris on the outside it looks like it's inside out like on this little thing i think it's fine but like outside right here especially it's right there like one why do i need two of them but this is like something that they put on the inside of the bag like if you own a louis vuitton bag that's usually on the little tabs of on the inside of the bag I just feel like this looks like they accidentally hot stamped it on the outside and then forgot about it like somebody just accidentally forgot that it was supposed to be on the inside i don't think i like this neo i think the original and the epi leather one is perfection okay so they have more colors of the soup bowl let's see yeah see it's the same thing right over here you see how it's on the outside i don't know it just looks weird i wish this was not here Alrighty, so looking at these like lock me shopper totes um, I mean, I like that it's simple, but I, if I had to choose between like a new tote bag and you're not into like Louis Vuitton monogram, then I would just prefer getting the Epi Leather Neverfulls. I think those are really cute. And then let's see, between these like Lock Me Ever, I guess they're just like another version of it. I don't know. I'm not really a fan. I don't like the front base of this. It just kind of looks like a wall. It just kind of got stuck onto the front of it. So I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, I feel like sometimes Louis Vuitton is just trying too hard to create too much. Like they should just kind of stick to like signature things and maybe like once in a while come out with like different bags. But I don't know, they just have like all these like different styles. Like this one right over here, it literally looks like a Celine nano luggage. Like genuinely, this looks like a Celine nano luggage. Yeah, like even just the way that it flares out, the different colors, like I'm pretty sure there's a nano luggage that looks just like this. I do enjoy that the handles are this really pretty like warm caramel brown color. I actually really do like that. But yeah, I'm not sure. Like I like the color combo with it, like the red and the brown or the green with the beige. I think it looks cute. But it just literally looks like they cut a piece of Louis Vuitton canvas from an old bag and then just like stuck it onto the front. So I don't really know how I feel about that. 
Okay, let's see what else. Alrighty, so uh, the Vanity PM. I actually really, really love the black one. I, I just think it looks so good. I wouldn't ever buy one, like I said before, just because I think a vanity case should just stay on your vanity, like it's supposed to hold things. I just don't really understand the concept of putting a chain on top of a vanity bag you know what i mean i just feel like it doesn't really lay against your body very nice yeah i just i'm not a fan of the 1854 print i'm just i'm not a fan of it so i don't like any of the 1854s it's just not my thing oh but this speedy bb oh i want this bag so bad i think it's so cute it's like an in-between size between a 25 and the na the nano speedy i think it looks really cute i love that it's in black and like it has like the emprunt leather or the lambskin i'm sorry it's the lambskin leather but oh my gosh it's so nice like it's so cute like this is definitely on my wish list i it doesn't say the price on this i would probably say this is about maybe like i'm gonna guesstimate maybe like two two thousand twenty one hundred give or take there I think anything more than like 2200 I don't think that's worth it. That's a little too expensive for like the size of the bag. Let's see. This all set bag, I've never seen, but the shape is very awkward. It's kind of like my Celine Boston bag and a Birkin and they fuse together and form bag. I just feel like it's irregularly like long. I think it would be cuter if it was a little more like the width was different. The Dauphine bag, not a big fan. I do really like this navy epi leather. I think it looks really cute. They have a twist with a handle on it. Um, I think I like the other twist with a different handle. Yeah, I don't really... Like this bag right over here I think is really cute, the one in the middle. Um, and then, oh, I just love the strap. Like the strap I really feel like just makes the bag. It looks so, so cute. And see, the handle on this one I'm okay with. Like the thinner handle as opposed to the one from before the on the go totes i've always loved the on the go totes i just want them to come out with this canvas but in a pm and i would totally go for it i mean give or take on the price if the price is a little too much probably not like if this touches like 2700 for a pm size i would not get it like not worth it at all but you have the on the go with the crafty you guys know how i feel i don't really like anything on the crafty collection so the same thing the on the go tote with this like really nice like the imprint leather really pretty yeah i think this is cute like the more that i look at it the cuter it is i definitely think i would need to try that bag online um the vivine bags i don't know i just don't like that this part is on the outside of the bag in general if it's on the outside it's on like a really small part of the bag like very subtle usually on like the vachetta leather like tab or it's on the inside of the bag so to me it's very strange that it's on the outside i feel like somebody just like accidentally Put it on the outside instead of the inside and then they were just like okay well we made the bags already so we just have to like put them all out like this i wish they didn't have that on the outside i don't like that i'm not a neo noe person but i do like the black with the beige color combination i think this does look really cute but just in terms of style i am not a neo noe person i just again i don't think it lays very nice on the body i feel like it's kind of awkward i mean this girl makes like she she rocks it like this entire outfit is amazing but yeah it's just it's not really a me bag so let's just load some more stuff um it's not loading Alrighty, so let's just look on the game on collection and let's just look at it together i mean again this is kind of old but i know some people um are still able to buy some things from them so hmm you know, the only reason why I would buy something from the Game On Collection is because I just recently watched this drama called Alice in Borderland and it's about like card games and stuff so I would get like one small thing just in like homage to that show because like the show was really really good but if I didn't watch that show, uh, no. I mean this dress I think is cute. See, I've seen people get this heart bag and I think it's cute but cute enough to actually buy i don't know i feel like it's a little okay this is a stretch but have you guys ever seen gilmore girls i think it's season one it was like rory's birthday episode and lorelei and their mom emily go shopping i think it's like macy's or something in burbank and she has like this guitar bag and they're like wow this bag is so cute so i feel like in the early 2000s like gimmicky bags like that were like in 
so i feel like that's kind of the first thing that i think of when i see like this heart-shaped bag like that's what i think of kind of like a gimmicky bag um yeah i mean this petite mal is cute but again i would just rather have the signature one i don't want to say that it's tacky i don't think it's tacky it's just a little i don't know like a little too i don't know what the word i'm looking for is yeah oh wait is this a card holder hold on this is actually kind of cute wait wait oh wait it's literally a card holder like as in you put the card oh but there's a back okay okay this is actually really cute i think this is like eclectic enough that this works and the price point is not bad 430 and you can fit what one two and you probably could put cash on the middle see if they made this with like different like if they had like all four like club spade ace i think that would be cute um okay i'm surprised they didn't do club i think club would be like so lv it's like very similar to like their flower but let's see um yeah i don't like this i like immediately think of like the queen of hearts from alice in wonderland when i see this oh see this bag i actually really really did like so out of the entire game on collection i really wanted this because ariana grande like there's this vintage shoulder bag from louis vuitton that's basically this but obviously doesn't have the heart on it and i want that bag like i want that bag so much i want them to re-release it and i would buy it in a heartbeat but this one it's like attached to each other i don't think these are separate right i'm pretty sure you can't separate this oh wait yes you can okay so you can separate it but i just don't like the like the heart on it like the painting like if they came out with this even together i mean it's two bags in one so 2800 like you think it's expensive but it's basically two bags in one so it, it makes sense okay let's see what else mm, yeah i don't like this this is like the bag that the queen of hearts from alice in wonderland would wear and this is the bag that the little hat um the little rabbit would wear like the one that's like running out of time i'm late i'm late yeah oh that's so funny they have like a bathing suit okay i mean this wallet is cute mm, but kind of tacky like i would much rather have like them re-release the murakami like rainbow would be so much better than this game on collection yeah okay i think that's about it these are like all repeats well this necklace is cute but it's not gold so i don't think it's worth the money yeah okay so i think that's it let me know if any of the new bags that you guys saw, if they're on your wish list, if you guys are already thinking about getting it. I know some people are always on Louis Vuitton. I just haven't been on Louis Vuitton personally. I've really been on this Celine or Chanel and honestly Hermes. Like those three are the bags that I just like keep looking at. If you guys just prefer my like normal like vlogs and review videos, then I'll totally stick to that. No hard feelings. I just wanted to kind of do something different on my channel because I've never done kind of like a what I think or a reactions video. So yeah, I hope that was enjoyable and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!